So right now I'm on my way to my friend's house to go watch uh, the Kansas City Chiefs against New England Patriots. I'm kind of running late, and on this freeway, and this freeway there's so much traffic, it's pissing me off. But it was my fault for, I guess, uh, last minute thing, you know. I didn't know where to go, but I'm very excited for this game. I hope my team can win it. I think we have a great chance. I've been happy hearing from ESPN and all those people say. Kansas City Chiefs actually have a chance, you know, that this game is going to be hype. I hope, I hope it's a close game. I don't want it to be just a one-sided game because I don't really like that. Just like, you know, just like last week against the Texans. That was, I mean, I enjoy watching it, but at the same time, just, I just rather see a close game because there's more excitement, you know, your heart starts beating quick, you get the goosebumps, you scream, everything. So, yep, I hope I see that. All right. I'll see you guys while I watch the game. I'm out. Oh, let's go. That's our first down. Good shit. Pretty good. Let's go. We're down 7 0. I still believe in my team that they can come back. They ain't seen me the next one. Alex Smith running for the first down. Good shit. Right here, look. Alex Smith. Y'all can see him with a tackle. Kansas City lining up quickly here. First and goal and a spike. Soft one. Halftime going to 7 Eleven quick to go get some snacks. The Chiefs are down, but it's all good. We'll come back. Believe in my team. Come on, Alex Smith. You can do this. Smith? Yes, pitch. come on. We got an on tech kick. I don't know if I should get now. No. I don't know what to do now. No fake to any right down the line of scrimmage. The bunch formation at the top of the screen took the focus of the They gotta do it like I did it on Madden. Ever. First time ever. We lost. It's alright. Whatever. Next year. We'll be back. Good. New England 27, Kansas City 20. And the Patriots are very disappointed. It's all Carlos' fault. It's all your fault, bro. Who's next? All right, guys, today I will be commentating on my workouts, on how many reps and weight I have, and explaining what I do. On squatting, I always warm up with 25s on each side, doing 15 reps. After that, I add 10 pounds, and I do 15 reps again. After those, I only do 10, but I keep adding 10 pounds until I reach my, my PR. Now, I like going ass to, ass to ground because that's how I was taught. Look, I'll be changing the angle so you can see. The reason why I do that, because when I first started, I didn't squat as much. Because, I don't know, I, I didn't know proper form and stuff. And then someone, one of my friends taught me. And then he would always tell me to go ass to ground. Well, that's how he did it. That's how he was taught. So, after that, that just stayed in my mind. And I kept doing it. And I really like it because it makes me feel like I'm actually going all the way to the floor. So, if one day I squat, like, three plates and I go all the way down, I like it because I'm going all the way down. Now, f for this workout, I start with one plate. But, as you can see, it's two plates here because I didn't want to do, like, because I start from one plate and I just keep adding one plate until I get to my PR as well. And I also do 15 for the first two and then same as squat. Most of my workouts are the same. Now, I know I'm not supposed to extend my legs because I can get injured. But for some reason, I always do it. It's like muscle memory or something. But I got to stop before I injure myself. Now here, I like, I like getting 10 reps on each leg three times. I don't change the weight because this is an intense workout and this actually hurts. And these are the only workouts that I will be showing you guys because I don't want to make it long and too boring either. And also I'll be 
changing gyms because 24 hour fitness is dirty. I don't like how it is. I will be changing to LE Fitness just to let you guys know. And also, it's funny how on that day, I didn't want to wake up. But I went to work out and I worked out better than usual. And I usually go to the gym at 4.55. So I actually start working out around 5 o'clock and leave around 7. It's pretty good and lonely. Well... How do you guys think I did on my first commentary? Should I continue to do this or should I not? Uh, leave a comment below to let me know if I should do this again or not. And thank you guys for the time and hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I thought this would be funny if I shared this with you guys because to me, I found it pretty funny. So I was just watching a Christian Guzman video right now. And I saw this, and it made me crack up. Because now my girlfriend's going to think I copy him in every way. And got a pair of shoes from Aldo, which I don't have, like, a solid black pair of shoes. So, so really simple, really clean. Kind of like this woven. And I got it in a size 10 so as well. Got those in a size 10. Now we're about to head out. Just different we'll material. I don't know if time to eat. Maybe grab lunch and then head to go view that house. So basically, since he just posted that, he four, that was four days ago. I got it two weeks ago, and then now he has it. We got similar shoes. I don't know, it just makes me laugh. I don't know. I mean, it might sound stupid to you guys, but I don't know. It was pretty funny to me. I just wanted to share this with you guys, because, yeah. Just so you guys believe me, size 10. Now everyone's going to think I'm trying to be like him. I won't lie, though. Kind of similar, but not exactly. But I had the shoes first. But it's alright. That gave me a laugh. That was too funny. At the LA Fitness Expo. Watch out. Fun. <laughs> I'm about to meet Christian Guzman and the Alpha Lee team. Looks like he's in a rain, dude. So excited. Sweater. It's so packed. It's like half an hour till it actually starts. What? Sorry for jinxing it. <laughs> 